Hello everybody, this is Shady here with a brand new Let's Play. We're here to play the incredible Devil May Cry. Yeah, we're gonna skip this stuff. Um, yeah, the demo starts pretty much straight away. So we're gonna do a new game. Yeah, so this is one of my absolute favorite games of all time, by the way. Yeah, so we'll just let this finish. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Spyro. Pretty badass dude, really. But yeah, so we are playing um, the HD collection version. So, yeah, these um, they didn't really do a good job with these cutscenes. As you can tell, they look a bit muddy. Um, but the end game looks good. Um, so yeah, we're playing the PS4 version. Yeah, oh my god. Um, yeah, this this looks a hell of a lot better when you play the original version on PS2. Yeah, Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. See, a hell of a lot better. Sorry, we closed at night. Again, no password. Yeah, so basically, um, this was uh, one of the early PS2 games. Um, Slow down, babe. A game that invented a whole genre in, its, in and of itself, which is the uh, character action game or hack and slash. It's in the back. Yeah, that's a really cool intro. I love the um, so, you must be the Matrix look of this lady here, whoever she is. Literally looks like Trinity, doesn't she? Like that was a big thing after the Matrix. Is <laughs> like the whole sunglasses and leather, tight leather outfits. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta. Obviously, yeah, like I said, this was an early PS2 game, so, yeah. Um, it's still, like, these character models are kind of a step above PS, um, PS1, obviously. But still, uh, yeah, it was still, like, the PS2 is so much more capable than this. Still looks good though. Yeah, she's kicking ass here. Wasn't expecting that. Time to go to work, guys. As a child, I had powers. He's smart enough to know that guns are useful too. You were the first one to know about my inventions. Looks like I'm getting closer. So th this is something that I've always found weird with Dove Moon Cry, right? So Dante's job is basically uh obviously he's a demon hunter. So he just like sits in this office. <laughs> all day hoping to get calls and uh for people to hunt demons or well, for him to hunt demons for people i mean obviously it's a world full of demons so it's fine 20 years ago mundus the emperor of the underworld resurrected mundus not mundus yes. okay his powers were sealed as they said in a different game to gain control of the human I mean I like that other game again, he has been preparing to open the gate on but yeah um, Malay Island yeah Dev May Cry is like my favorite series of all time I think um, it really is up there you know I love Resident Evil and Final Fantasy and this is like you know one of the quintet for me Qu no wait quintet's five Sorry, uh, the castle is above this cliff. you know, Come on, it's one of my go. four favorite series anyway, like, yeah. Resident Evil, Final Fantasy, Devil May Cry, and uh, the Metal Gear Solid series as well. But yeah, anyway, we've started now. So, um, yeah, as you've noticed, this game has uh, fixed camera angles. Um, and obviously, I'm sure that this is like common knowledge now, but this was basically... Um, 
you know, like a uh, um, was one of the concepts for a Devil May Cry, or Devil May Cry for a Resident Evil, obviously for Resident Evil Four, in fact. Um, so yeah, it's one of those. You, you're going to see a lot of the um, similarities as we go on. Um, obviously, the biggest inspiration you can probably already tell as we're entering a castle was uh, Castlevania, um, according to Hideki Kamiya. But yeah, this is it. Mission one starts. So yeah, this is uh, this is the really interesting thing about this game. So we actually have missions, um, but obviously we are in one interconnected sort of place. So yeah, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, so this uh, this is a weird thing we have to do. So basically, we'll just go here quickly. Yeah, so you need forty-five orbs. Yeah, and then that thing attacks you. So a bit annoying. Yeah, th this is a very <laughs> weird way to start your like character action game. Um, this this is what I was saying though, where you can tell this was like, you know, originally meant to be like a Resident Evil game because this definitely looks like you know the opening of um, the first Resident Evil, doesn't it? You know, this sort of room with the staircase and everything. I think there was cl like clear similarities there. I think, but uh, between this and the Spencer Mansion. So I thought there might have been this one there, isn't there? Yeah, it was on this is on this side. So it's been a while, obviously. So I can't quite remember uh, where everything is. So there's an orb there. Um, yeah. So obviously uh, we have different orbs in this game. Uh, we have red orbs. They're the orbs you have. Um, they're the like currency of the game. Uh, blue orbs, as you can see. Um, yeah, those collect four. It gives you. Uh, an increase in your health. Um, then we have the yellow orb there. Uh, this is a weird thing. So basically, this game decides, um, you know, you have to basically, you don't get checkpoints. You have to have these yellow orbs, which uh, are essentially your game, the game's checkpoints, which is very weird when you think about it. Like, yeah, you, when you run out of them, you have to restart the mission. So, yeah, so be careful. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have exactly 45 in this area as well, so... Um, be obvious. I think they were trying to go for, like, an atmosphere sort of thing, weren't they, with this? So that, that's why you do this. Um, obviously, no other Devil May Cry game will uh, start off like this. Uh, but, I mean, I really like it. It's one of the things that I... Um, one of the reasons why I always love coming back to this game. Um... Because, yeah, I may not have said this, but this is, like, one of my most played games ever. Even though it's, it's been a few years since I played it. Um, the last time was... Uh, I, don't know if, I can't remember, like, a few years ago. Probably, I don't know, five years ago or something. So it's been a while, actually. So, yeah, we got the 45 orbs now. Which is sweet. So then, yeah, that basically means we can um, enter that door now. Uh, there is, like, another time we'll have a room, um, like... That uh, requires orbs for us to get through. So yeah, it's it's not the, a super overused thing. So don't worry about it. Yeah. So as you can see, there's an area that we can't get to. Very um, yeah, like very Resident Evil ish sort of thing. We're almost cost Um What's over here? Yeah, you can break these and then you get little orbs and things. Yeah, this is one thing I always loved was just like breaking things. Also, I really like that outside there. You see that. Um, tree blowing off in the distance that's a cool little effect always appreciate that um yeah because i'm sure um you know i was like a lot of gamers back in the day when we were younger where uh you have very limited games you could play so um you'd always like replay these games constantly the same ones near enough uh and yeah that's oh my god the amount i i don't even know how many times i played this game like it's ooh. Uh, what could be up there? Okay. Nice, it's a key. Sweet. Rusty key. And nothing else. Yeah, this is really cool. So, it's not just a statue. They're enemies. So yeah, these are our first enemies. The marionettes. 
So yeah. As you can see, this game, how it works is you have your sword attacks. You do combos depending on uh, the button combinations you do. So um, obviously it's just triangle. And then you have like, you know, combos, like your basic combo, press that, uh, press it three times and you could do like delayed actions as well to do combos. Uh, X is to jump. Um, you have to hold the uh, L1 button and press circle or um, square to shoot. So that's a, a weird quirk in this one. Or if you're jumping, you can just press it. And as you can see, it, yeah, it has this sort of stance and it's almost like a lock on as well when you press the L1 button. Um, even though you don't actually have like a lock on indicator like you would in the later games. But yeah, with that rusty key, um, we can actually make our way back. But, um, let's quickly go in here. So yeah, uh, I believe it's in here. No, uh, sorry, this side. Yeah, there we go. So we get three of the uh, the four orbs there. Um, yeah, we can't actually go up here yet. Um, this is a little area we can come to later, but yeah, I just wanted to get the orb now, is also. And then, yeah, um, obviously, yeah, enemies have a chance to respawn as well, so. Um, another thing, obviously, you can see that sort of style thing there, the where it says, like, dull, cool, bravo, awesome. That's the style meter. And then that basically how it works is... Uh, the more you sort of combine your attacks, or like the more you vary your moves, um, the higher it comes. So the whole point is, this this game is kind of based on a a style system, if you will. Oh my god! So you like the higher your your style meter when enemies are defeated, the more orbs you get. So it's it's very cool. So it's it's like uh, what do you call it? Positive reinforcement. You know, it's designed so, you know, the better you do, um, the more orbs you get. So it's, you know, it's promoting you getting good at the game. So, you know, it's really good design. Obviously, um, you know, other games do different things. Don't they? they do the opposite. Like, you got Mario Kart, which has almost the... I mean, I call it positive reinforcement. I don't, I don't know if that's really <laughs> what you call it. Um, but yeah, you have, like, ones that... You know, it's like, uh, you're kind of winning more in a way. And then, yeah, Mario Kart kind of does that kind of negative reinforcement type of thing in a way where it's like, uh, you know, if you, um, you're you behind in the race, you get better items and stuff. So, you know, if that even makes sense as a concept. But yeah, so that rusted key um, actually lets us... Uh, stop fucking doing that, you dick. Yeah, so... Um, I'm accidentally pressing the analog stick, which does uh, the taunting, which uh, does actually get your style gauge up one, but obviously leaves you vulnerable to an attack. Also, yeah, um, because this is like an early PS2 game, um, it has one of those weird quirks where uh, the um, like early PlayStation games have where like circle is the confirm button. Um, anyway, let's... We're going to have to go down there in a sec, but I think there's something up here for us. If I can even get up here. Um, oh god, I'm being a bloody idiot here. Here we go. There we go. Yep, so we have our, f our first full health upgrade. And then, yeah, there's... Uh, blue orbs are hidden um, pretty much everywhere. Yeah, as you can see, hitting that sensor down here, which is awesome. And then, uh, yeah, we continue on here. And yeah, as you can imagine, we have to fight a load of enemies. Yeah, and obviously, some of these dudes will do, like, you know, attacks from a distance and stuff, so be careful. Yeah, you may have not noticed already, but yeah, green orbs will, uh, like, heal you as well. So yeah, that's a nice health upgrade for you. I'm sure that's all of them, right? Nope. Not that easy. Oh, 
Yeah, so uh, another thing. Um, so the, the colors they're wearing sort of indicate their level, essentially. So that red one we fought first was like the highest level one. Oh, then yeah, I think green is like the weakest. These are kind of like your mid-range. I'm pretty certain. There we go. That's the enemies done. Yeah, so uh, the ranking system, um, S is the highest, basically. In this one, anyway. Um, I'm sure people who play the other games, they'll know that you get, like, S3 in the newer ones, don't you? I think from, like, I feel like from Devil May Cry 3 onwards, or maybe it was 4, I can't remember. Oh my god. Yeah, so you're meant to actually jump to avoid attacks. There is also, like, if you press L1, I think you can also, like, do this dodging move. Can you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do it with uh, the wrong button, though. Yeah, so I, th I think... Yeah, you can sort of dodge um, if you go either left or right. You have to sort of tap it. If you hold it, then they just jump. You can, yeah, you can, yeah. That's like a quick kind of uh, move there. But yeah, killing those marionettes lets us enter this area and uh, end the level, which is awesome. And then, yeah, um, you actually get like rewards. So yeah, you'll get your ranking at the end. C ranking is kind of terrible, really. Um, I am rusty, so don't judge me. And then, yeah, uh, the only time you can actually save is between missions. So yeah, we'll save over that save. I don't know why I did that twice. And yeah, this one of those games that shows you how many times you saved as well, so. But yeah, uh, we're on mission two now. Also, um, between missions, you can also power up. So as you see here, uh, we can buy ourselves a blue orb. Uh, you have a very limited amount that you can get. Um, can't remember how many it is, but yeah, you can get a few blue orbs. You can buy more yellow, and then obviously as you buy these items, they become more expensive as well. Um, we have, yeah, Devil Star, that gives you uh, Devil Trigger, whatever that might be, who knows. Um, this one is like you know, your basic kind of healing item, um, just gives you um, some health. Um, yeah, Holy Water, this is basically an item that you can use that just does damage to all enemies around you. Uh, does like a set amount of damage, I can't remember how much it is, it's quite powerful though. Um, yeah, and this one... Um, untouchable, as you can imagine, it just makes you invincible for a bit. Um, yeah. So yeah, you basically devil trigger an invincibility for a short period of time. Blue orb just gives you an extra health. Purple orb, this gives you an extra gauge and your devil trigger, whatever that is again. And then yellow orb, like I said, this um, is like your um, checkpoint essentially. It brings you back to life in the previous room you were in. So, yeah. But anyway... go to the next mission yeah so um, we're now sort of sort of deeper into the castle now um, yeah that first year was more just I guess you can call it a tutorial or something yeah you have to also make sure you, you're close enough to pick up these orbs as well obviously yeah um, either waiting too long between combos will end them or uh, or getting hit by an enemy will end your combo instantly from what I remember so yeah it's a bit more brutal in this game um, I'm sure people who played like some of the other games in the series you'll notice it's a little easier Oh, maybe it doesn't end your combo straight away, actually. Getting hit. Yeah, you can tell that's my favorite combo, can't you? <laughs> I 
Yeah, the combos may seem a little basic at the moment, but um, yeah, there is, you know, more stuff to unlock, so don't worry. We're only at the start. But, um, you know, for what was essentially, like, the first of this type of game, this still plays, like, really friggin' well. Like, it's, uh, it's kind of insane. I mean, like, there's other, like, hack and slash games that have come out after this that I don't think played nowhere near as good, in my opinion. Anyway, what was this? Hmm. I am Alastair. Thou art I. I art thou, or whatever they say in Persona. In Persona 5, I think that was, isn't it? He loves getting stabbed by a sword, doesn't he, in the chest? You'll notice that that's kind of like a uh, motif or something in, in the series. It's fine. Because he's a demon. He can't die, I guess. But what I don't get, though, is how can he kill other demons? Imagine if he got up to that bit and it wasn't sharp enough to cut through him. He just, he just has to go back down and like pull it out <laughs> the other way. But yes. We have a new devil arm. That's what they call the weapons, by the way. Devil arms. But I don't know if they... I think that might have started in 3, actually. The actual name. But yes, this is Alaster. A much more powerful weapon than the one we already had. And yeah, we get a cool scene as well. Like I was saying, early 2000s flair, so... We get to see uh, Dante be stylish. Because obviously, uh, Death May Cry is all about style. It's uh, one of the few things that is style and substance in one, which is awesome. But yeah, so as you can see, yeah, this weapon kind of has this kind of like lightning ability. It's quicker, a um, bit more range, and yeah, it's just awesome. Um, I'll quickly show the menu. So we actually have the weapon section here. So as you can see, um, this was the weapon we started off with, the Force Edge. Um, yeah, a memento of Dante's father, Sparta. And then yeah, this is the new weapon, the Elasta. It, I, I love that animation you get. This one's cool as well. So, uh, wait, let's go into the... Wait, hang on. Look at this. There, you get to see them fire. That, that's so cool. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that. Anyway, let's go into this area. Stop doing that. Why does that keep happening? What is this? Ah. Okay, let's take that key. Sweet. Yeah. Um, that is actually getting annoying as hell. Oh, wait. It's the trigger button that does it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is why I bloody hate the PS3's triggers, man. Because um, they're, like, if you... You know, unless those springs are loaded, then it just... It, it's so easy to press them. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, that's just one of my little annoyances with that con with the, this controller. Uh, still awesome, though. Cool idle animation. But yeah, um, as you said, we actually have a shotgun. And not just any shotgun. A friggin' sawn-off shotgun. So we're basically friggin' Ash from Evil Dead right now. But obviously, yeah, this is more... Not as fast, but a burst damage shot. Really cool friggin' weapon, in my opinion. But yeah, so... With that key... We can uh, actually leave now. Oh wait, are we going down here? Yeah, as you can see, we like killed that thing so much quicker with the uh, Alasta. Yeah, you probably noticed already with the amount of like playthroughs I've done, like <laughs> that Capcom is like my favorite game studio. I mean, not that I get many views in these videos, but 
if someone happened to have seen him. Well, I'm, I'm talking theoretically, really, aren't I? <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah, we're just demolishing these guys now, aren't we? Yeah, some of these also will have, like, different weapons as well. Oh, yeah, we can also do double trigger, which, sorry, I forgot to show. But, so when you press uh, L1, you get the double trigger gauge, which uh, increases your power, um, your speed, and you heal gradually over time as well. So it's pretty ba badass, really. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's always handy to fight these lot. Yeah, and that's where the rusty key takes us. Yeah, and obviously you jump up there, you get that um, extra thing. Ship. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, so we can't actually just go in there, unfortunately. But uh, if we jump up here, we have this little room here. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe not. Oh, no, it's that side, sorry. There we go. So, yeah. Took me a minute. Obviously, yeah, these are just the first enemies. Um, obviously, one of the things with these types of games is you will get like d loads of different enemies, and then uh, we get varieties of them. And yeah, um, you'll probably also notice that we didn't actually get like a a uh, difficulty selection either, so. Yeah, so that's something we'll have to come up to later. Um, and yeah, we're just sort of in normal mode. So yeah, it's a bit, bit different in this game. Ah. Yeah, so the Staff of Judgment is uh, for where the Alasta was. So we'll go back round. Sweet. And obviously we'll be able to get there nice and easy. Yeah, who are we kidding? Yes, so. We have our second enemy. Reapers. They like to laugh. Yeah, so. Those masks. Um, pay attention to those. So essentially, that is its weak spot. Yeah, so they do this thing where... Yeah, they kind of defend with the master. And uh, as you can see... Yeah, you have to be careful of the uh, the knife coming back as well. So, very annoying. Also, I've always loved that barrier in the hand. That, like, snaps shut sort of thing. But, um, yeah, anyway... Oh, what are these things there? Hmm. That's weird. But yeah, we'll put the Star for Judgment in. Obviously. Can't progress otherwise. But yeah, that's the end of mission two. Sweet. We'll save, obviously. So obviously, yeah, this is one thing I really like, that you get this little preview of the next mission and kind of what you have to do. Uh, but yeah, now Alastra is in there, so... Yeah, we actually have some upgrades that we can get. Um, I'm going to stick with Stinger, level 1. Um, that's a very useful attack. Um, this one, basically, it just lets us kind of um, close distance with enemies. So, yeah, we have a few other moves here, but we can't afford them at all yet. And, yeah, obviously, yeah, that was all we were able to get at the moment. So, yeah, so anyway, we will do the next mission. Mission start. Yeah, not start mission, but mission start. I mean, yeah, it's a Japanese game, so it's bound to be some sort of grammatical errors. 
Unless it's like asking you, like, mission start? Or something? I mean, even though that would still be wrong. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, interact with the pride of the line. Ah, okay. So, yeah. Essentially, we have to fulfill a little trial to be able to uh, gain the pride of the line. So, yeah, that means we have to go down there. And yeah, we're gonna rock the uh, the shotgun for now, just because it looks badass. Um, I always remember there was a really funny uh, kind of thing um, when it came to uh, this game. Um, I think it was actually when Devil May Cry 3 was coming out, but I remember I had a friend who always used to get um, the official PlayStation magazine, um, and he. I remember he showed me an article where they were explaining Devil May Cry and it was like explaining Dante and it was like uh, he was kind of uh, a cross between Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers and Ash from Evil Dead. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. If you jump at the right time, you can get hit with the lightning in the air, which is pretty, which is like badass. It's that it proves how good you are at the game. Obviously, I'm not good enough. Yeah, so we're in the, the water right now, and yeah, it's uh, draining our health. So yeah, as you can see, we're moving slightly slower as well because we're in water. But yeah, this is the trial. We have to fight these skull dudes. Yeah, and that's the stinger move. So essentially you... You kind of go uh, R1 forward and then uh, triangle for the sword attack. Which then, uh, yeah, let's do that. Obviously, yeah, the controls are slightly different in this one. Um, yeah, I believe it's not triangle in the other ones or something. I can't remember exactly. Or maybe they changed it for this collection. I can't remember. I mean, uh, we'll worry when we get there. But yeah, we can actually get the pride of the line, which is badass. But yeah, it's not going to be that easy, obviously. And as with all Capcom games, it's boss time. Yes, this is Phantom. <laughs> yeah, talking trash is a uh, Devil May Cry staple as well. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that's another thing I really freaking love. Okay, so you have to actually, like, go on top of him. Yeah, you have to get on top of him. He likes it when you're on top of him. And you hit his head, basically, like that, and it kind of damages him. Because, obviously, his body's quite hard, so... Yeah, I mean, even though he's hard, you need to, you know, hit him in the squishy parts. Yeah, he likes to sort of defend. Oh my god, we're getting smashed! Oh my god! Okay. I'm actually gonna have to use a Vitality Star. Freaking heck. Don't get Mars handed me. I did say I was out of practice, didn't I? Yeah, so <clears throat> that's kind of the trick. You shoot him to get your double trigger up. And then, uh, yeah. And then you go double trigger and just, like, attack him in the head, pretty much. Obviously, you do it better than me. Uh, try not to get hit, obviously. <laughs> you know, that would be a, a good tip. But, yeah, that's Phantom done, the first boss. And then, yeah, we can leave it here. Also, I love how these... Um, these trees are kind of like undulating. Like, uh, you know, they're like living beings or something. Like, uh, they're almost the veins of this castle or something. Just a nice touch. Also, I just wanted to say the word undulating. I don't get to say it much, so. Anyway, that's mission 
three done. We'll save. And we'll go on to the next mission. Black Knight. Um, yeah, that was my uh, Krauser impression. Uh, yeah, we'll go for Air Raid. I think that'll be a good one. Uh, yeah, that's quite an interesting move. Okay, so now that we got that, um, if you remember, I think it was in here. Yeah, Phantom's returned. But yeah, all, all you gotta do is go in that room. Uh, you can actually fight him and kill him, and you do get some orbs uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Ah, oh, yeah. There's your pride, Mr. Lion. Yeah, so... Things aren't going to be that easy. Obviously, we have a new enemy to fight. Um, this one's really interesting because... Um, whoa! Yeah, so this enemy is only available in... Uh, like, I think it was... Whoa! Shit! Yeah, this guy's only available in, like, normal and hard. He won't be available if you're playing in... Almost got him, almost got him. There we go. He's done. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get air raid. Just makes it easier. But yeah, um... Uh, like I said, that guy won't be available if you're playing on easy mode. Uh, so yeah, as um, a kid, obviously I, I used to play on easy mode. So that was one of them that kind of came as a surprise to me. Yeah, and obviously, yeah, doing that unlocks this door. So, uh, but yeah, what we want to do is actually go down here. Um, you attack this and jump up here. And that takes us to the top here. We can get that key. As you can see, if you jump on the wall, you can kind of kick off and it allows you to get to places uh, that you usually wouldn't be able to, so. That's that one. And then yeah, that sword, we insert it into here. Give this lady a sword. She opens her mouth. And then we get the ball out of her mouth. I mean, after she's done with it, obviously. But yeah, what is this? Oh. He has a twin. Or doppelganger. This stinking hole was the last place I thought I'd find anyone with some guts. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I love how he's like, we're going to fight outside. We have to have an epic place for our battle, obviously. But yeah, that's uh, the next fight, I think. Is there something up here? Yeah, there's some orbs. Then, yeah, if you, if you look here, uh, these little statue things here um, actually just allow you to access a shop, which is awesome. Yeah, so if there was any items you wanted, grab them there. Also, yeah, um, I didn't show this already. Or, well, I kind of guess I did, but yeah, you kind of get these item descriptions, which is really cool. Um, yeah, like this. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, so that's where you can kind of see that like Resident Evil inspiration. But yeah, so we just jump down here. Right now. We have the next boss. Neo Angelo. Yeah, he's kind of almost on an evil footing to you. Whoa. Yeah, then he teleports. And then, yeah, you, uh, you kind of have to jump up here. Whoa. So yeah, just uh And then yeah, he'll just teleport again. Yeah, he likes to do that sort of uh ranged attack occasionally as well. That was waste my devil trigger. Yeah, now we have to jump over there, finish him off. There we go. The Angelo done. Yeah, just don't be afraid to use your devil trigger and you'll be fine. I like how we beat him and now he's getting the better of us. Like, that annoys me. Oh. Oh my god. It's too gaudy. It's driving him crazy. You've got such terrible taste. Okay. I mean, I didn't think it looked that bad, but okay, fine. But yeah, that's the end of this mission. Pretty epic. And yeah, obviously, I'll use C rank because I'm rubbish. Yeah, you get a little bit of a bonus with the bosses, which is badass. So yeah, I'm just going to save up now. And um, yeah, uh, we're actually going to call it now for a this episode I'm going to give you a quick preview of the next mission so yeah it's obviously mission 5 if you can believe it but yeah um, that's going to be the end of part 1 and uh, yeah I'll catch you in the next one have a great rest of your day and uh, I'll see you again bye bye